Today I'm excited and frankly a little nervous because I'm going to be doing something that I don't recommend anybody else out there do. I am going to be replacing my 24 volt, 800 watt hour battery bank with this single 24 volt, 100 amp hour battery. The entire load of my entire system, my 6,000 watt split phase inverter, my 4,000 watt solar panels is all going to be coming in and coming out of this. It's going to be a massive load. And the reason I don't recommend this is because the load on my system is right now distributed between four 200 amp hour batteries. So none of them are ever going to be doing more than 50 amps, even under heavy load. All of the load is going to be pumping through this one single 100 watt battery. So of course it doesn't have the same capacity. So over the next few days, I am basically going to punish and torture this one little battery and push it to its limit and see what it's made of. So real quick, let's talk about this battery. It's an Okmo 24 volt, 100 amp hour battery. So you might be thinking to yourself, well, who's Okmo? Well, I've been using Okmo batteries for a while now and they're really high quality. And Okmo has been around for two decades. They're a pioneer and a leader in lithium iron phosphate batteries. So it's an excellent battery. So again, I would not recommend you doing this experiment with just any battery because you need a high quality battery. So according to the specs of this battery, they recommend 50 amps, so 0.5C output, and it can do a full 100 amps, so a 1C output. So we are going to push that to the extreme. We are going to go well past 1C. We're going to go past 2C. We're going to push probably up to 3C. We're going to push this battery hard to see what it can do. I'm going to be testing this in an off-grid scenario, hooked up to a 6,000 watt split phase inverter. But this battery can do much more than just off-grid solar applications. You can use it on boats. You can use it for trolling motors. You can use it in RVs. You can use it in marine environments. So the test I'm going to do over the next few days, as rigorous and demanding as it is, is actually only one of the things that this battery can do. I did so many tests over so many days that this video would be five hours long if I showed everything. So I'm just going to hit the highlights here. You can see I started out with a low load and I got 50 amps. I turn on the shot back and I'm over 100 amps. So you can see it's a pretty steady load. Then I turn on the space heater and you can see it's about 200 amps. Then if you notice, you can hear the chop saw come on. Right there you hear the chop saw come on. So I mean that's pretty standard what I did. I would run a heavy load, 50, even 100 amps, even more, and then I would hit it hard with that chop saw. And you can see, see there again, over, you can see the chop saw going again, just over and over and over again. So this is a really good example of what I did for several days. So here's another test. It gives you a good example. We're at about 140, and then I hit it with the chop saw. You can see, you can hear the chop saw in the background. So we're sitting at about 140 amps. You, you see that pop up to almost 300 amps. That's the chop saw. So we just run it and run it and run it. There's a shot back. So you can see I'm running over 200 amps. These are very heavy loads over and over and over again. The chop saw. And then here you can you can hear the, the low voltage warning on the inverter coming on. And um, I would just power it back down. You can see I'm just powering it down. And I would do that over and over and over for several days. So the test was very grueling and uh, very impressive results for this battery. So as you can see, I punished this battery for days upon end with heavy loads until it was depleted, filled it back up and heavy loads again, 70 amps, 100 amps, 150 amps. I peaked at almost 300 amps out of this battery. That's 3C, that is well over the rating of the battery. Now you might be asking yourself, wait a minute, what about protection? 
Well, let's get into that. First of all, it has low temperature protection. That's something I didn't test because I'm inside and I'm not in a cold environment. But if you are in a cold environment, it has low temperature protection. So if it gets below freezing, it'll shut the battery down. Now, you might be asking, well, why didn't the overcurrent protection come on? And that's because the overcurrent protection in this is unique. It goes not only with the load, but also with the heat. So if the battery gets to an uncomfortable, unsafe temperature and load, it'll shut down. And this battery is so well built and the components are so incredible that it was able to handle all of the load, no problem. And this was not a low C capacity test. Over the last few years, I've tested dozens of batteries and brand new batteries always pass low C capacity tests. There's no point in even doing a low C capacity test. This test showed that heavy, heavy continuous load, this battery can take it. Let's say, God forbid, something bad happens to your battery. It's damaged somehow. This company, again, has been around for over 20 years. They're gonna be around for a while. Their excellent warranty will last. A warranty is only good as a company. And this company has been around and they are responsive and they will take care of you. So when you purchase the battery, that's not the end of the relationship with them. That is the beginning of the relationship with them. If you have any questions or if you have any problems, they'll take care of you. It is a solid battery from an excellent company. If anybody has any questions about what I did over the last few days, please leave a comment below. If anybody's used this battery, love to hear your story. And so as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Thanks for watching and I will talk to everyone soon.